My name is Libby Salmonson and I work for Guardian Angel Adoptions and I do their post placement and I also am on the 1-800 birth mom line. My role in the post placement is to just let these girls know that there's life after adoption. First call is they want to know about our program and so I'll give them basically the details of how everything works and then I'll also mention that I'm also a birth mother and so I understand some of their feelings and emotions that they'll be going through as they enter into the adoption process. Twenty-three years ago I placed my daughter for adoption and so I'm a birth mother and my experience was a, a great experience. I have no regrets about my decision and that's what drew me back to adoption. So that's something that I can share with our birth mothers on their first call through the adoption process, let them know that I'm also a birth mother and I can relate to their feelings and emotions and then that comes plays a part when I do the post placements. It's putting your child first and knowing that I think every birth mom could take their child home and we all could, could raise them, but is that what's best for our child? And we all want more for our child. So yes, we feel selfish because we're getting a, a new start as well, but bottom line, we're putting our child first and the pain that you experience, you'll never experience it again. It's not a selfish decision in my opinion, it's a selfless decision because you put your child's need first. My decision, I was completely and totally led by the Lord to, to the adoption industry and I find that is very similar with a lot of our birth mothers take into consideration they have very difficult situations but generally by the time they've made the call to the agency they have felt pulled to adoption and they've been led to adoption and so it's not a decision for everybody but it's a decision that in in my case I knew it was the best thing for my child and the best thing for myself and then actually seeing the adoptive family with my child just confirmed that this is where she's supposed to be and this is where I'm supposed to be. One of the things that I talk to all of my birth moms, it's a series of things that continue to happen. For me, it was being at work one day, opening the phone book, and the first page I came to was adoption. Just little signs along the way. Um, calling the agency that I called and I spoke with one of the directors. We just had a connection. Um, all of the birth moms that I talked to, little things along the way just continue to lead them to adoption. I think adoptions come a long ways um, in the past 30 years and a guardian angel is there to really support their birth mothers and that's what drew me to a guardian angel is their, their unconditional love and support of their birth mothers. We know things about your birth mom and I think that's that's a gift that these birth moms can give to the adoptive families and to their child is to share a little bit about them with the adoptive families because they can take that to their child. Just watching the birth mom interact with, with the adoptive family and all the unconditional love that everyone in the room has for that baby. That's my very favorite part. I believe in, in a family unit, a mother and a father, and to watch our adoptive family struggle to adopt and then to finally get that call that they've got a baby, um, to watch the adoptive fathers bond with these babies and just the, the unconditional love and joy that they have, there's nothing compared to the family unit. It's miracles every day to to watch the right family come to the right baby every time. And it just solidifies my faith that it is miracles. I've never regretted my decision, but it's definitely the hardest decision I've ever made. And I tell my birth mothers that it will change you. Not that you're in a bad place now, but it will change you forever. And it does. You know, I, I never thought I was strong enough 
to place my child for adoption, I still don't think I'm strong enough. Um, it's something that I don't think I humanly had the strength to do. And I just really felt like the Lord led me and guided me. And um, this is where I was supposed to be. This is where my daughter was supposed to be. And it's come full circle and now I'm back trying to help other birth moms as they go through this process.